You're right there, guys. Hope you're well. So I got myself a toddy. I need something other than coffee, so why not honey, lemon, ginger, and uh, alcohol? It's pretty good. Anyway, so we are doing a brewing with Reggie's video because, well, a lot of people want to do it. A lot of people ask quite a lot if they can make some type of recipe that I've done with bread yeast. And the answer is always, no, not really. Um, bread yeast is good for low alcohol fermentations. I mean, I get comments asking, well, telling me that uh, they can get 16 or sometimes 18% from bread yeast. And I can guarantee you, it tastes rough as sin. A lot of those people are also um, distilling. So, you know, make of it as you will. So I did a whole playlist called Brewing with Bread Yeast, and this is gonna be part of it. And you will notice that all the recipes are low alcohol. Uh, there is one that I did, which was another mead video uh, with cinnamon. It was actually quite nice, but it did have that sort of bread yeasty taste, you know, that gnarly taste it starts getting when you get to higher alcohol percentages. So we're gonna be putting the uh, homemade yeast nutrient through its paces. So that'll be quite fun. So uh, all this stuff is gonna cost you about six pounds to make a gallon batch, including the bread yeast. So um, yeah, I mean, you could probably get the water bottle cheaper somewhere else, so maybe five pound, but six pound a gallon, not too bad. So let's just get into it. So we've put the honey to one side because we're gonna be using the water in our container. We might as well not let it go to waste, but we are gonna to need to make some room in here. So got myself a glass. So first thing we do, it says, ah, oh, there we go. That was a hard one. So the first thing we do is we're gonna take out a pint because we need to make a bit of head space. There we go. And we can do whatever we want with this. I'm probably gonna to need to remove a bit more, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I've got a nice empty kettle because we're gonna be boiling some. It's just gonna speed up the process because unlike normal when I'm using my gas one, I made an executive decision to use my old electric, like beastie thing here. It doesn't look good, but it's cheap and it saves me having to go like a 10 mile round trip uh, to the next town over, you know, thinking with my head. So I'm just gonna boil some water quickly. It doesn't really matter the amount because it's going back in the demijohn. So I'm just gonna let the kettle boil. So one of the things that was asked uh, quite a lot was how much of this bread yeast did I use? It didn't really matter at the time. It was just a proof of concept. So this time I am using two of these sach sachets, I will learn to speak. So that is approximately 14 grams for this gallon batch. So let's just throw the beasties in. I can rip it in this pack. Oh, there we go. And then goes the other seven grams. And I had to fight that for a minute. And now we are just gonna boil this bad boy. Bye bye yeast. yeast has been boiled. In theory, they have broken the cell membranes and all their innards are exposed on the inside. Sounds so gruesome, but that's what we need. We want uh, an easy and readable source for the old uh, yeast. Now, the one thing I did notice doing, well, during that whole homemade yeast nutrient sort of experiment is that the one which contained the homemade yeast nutrient didn't froth anywhere near as much. I mean, it even cleared itself which is pretty cool. I mean, the other one, uh, the one with the wine yeast nutrient, did the same thing, except it kind of went everywhere. It went a bit ballistic, uh, and we won't even talk about the one without anything, because it, it was terrible. So, I'm actually gonna be filling it up quite high, but I've uh, emptied out my pint glass by drinking it. I'm gonna take out a little bit more, so uh, we've, we can always add more water to it, but we can't really, uh, we don't really wanna waste any more sugar, so. A second pint. 
So let us add in the honey. It should be pretty straightforward since this is runny honey. There's no need to preheat it. So wish me luck. Again with no funnel, but it's got a wide neck. So it's got a big mouth, so it should all be good. Ooh, famous last words. And if not, I can just lick the worktop. It has been sterilized after all, and I do like honey. So in it goes. Right. Add a little bit of the water I've taken out into here to cool it down quickly. There. And then let's use this nice warm solution. It smells interesting. Still got a bit of the solution left, so give it another rinse. There we go. Get the last little drag. Right, I'm just gonna shake this for a few minutes until all the honey is dissolved. Also aerates it as well. There you go, going all fancy. So I will see you in a couple of minutes. So that hardly took any shaking whatsoever. I guess the uh, the clear honey, the runny honey, is a lot more water soluble than the set one. Kind of makes kind of makes sense. So I've got my hydrometer. Uh, I've went and rinsed it off because there was sterilizing solution in there. So just fresh water. So let's pop this one in. Famous last words. It's probably going to be about nine percent now, just because it's down so low. So in theory, this should not froth over with an explosion of yeasty, bread yeasty goodness. I really, uh, yeah. So I'm hoping so. I was kind of tempted to fill it up to the five litre mark, sort of up here, just as a thing, but I don't think I'm brave enough for this experiment. So we're just gonna keep it where it is and we will see. So we are hovering right there. Of course. Of course it is. So according to this, it is right at the 11% mark, which means it is uh, 1.0 sort of 6, 8, of course, 1.0. So that's a bit weird. So I just, I just couldn't help myself. I was just like, have I made an error in my maths? Because this, this says it's 11%. I've double checked it with the hydrometer and it's still saying it's 11%, so... I mean, does the... It doesn't contain that many sugars. I mean, this, this can't mess that up by that much because it's per 100 grams of this stuff. It has 20 grams of sugars, but uh, we... Yeah, per 100 grams, we used... 21 grams at most, and seven of those didn't go in until that, so that, that's nothing. So let's just double check. So 76, uh, we'll even add the 0.4, and then you times that by how many it is, so times by 4.5, 4.5, it's 348. Then you times that by two, and that only comes out as 687.6 grams. 11% is approximately a kilo, a thousand grams. Since, you know, a kilo of sugar brews to about 11%. So 500 grams is 5.5. Which is weird, considering the maths doesn't work out that. So obviously there is either more sugar in that than uh, it says because it is a natural product or that yeah, kind of it kind of that yeast wouldn't have changed the uh, specific gravity by that much shouldn't have 
It must just be a super sweet batch of, uh, of honey. Let's see how it tastes. Actually, that does taste pretty sweet. Mm, not bad though. We'll see what it finishes out at. That is uh, what it says. It's saying it's right at the 11% mark, which is uh, weird for two jars of honey. It's a different brand. We normally use uh, Aldi's brand, so maybe theirs is different. Don't know. So in goes, uh, which side? Uh, go on, let's try here. Oh, my hands feel so weak. That's it, I'm using a knife. Right. Why struggle when I can use tools? So in goes our seven grams of bread yeast, and let's see what happens. Right, there we go, just stick the lid on. There we go, just biting. And that's as done. So it's a bit weird that uh, it's saying it's up at 11% with, uh, with this honey. That is a bit unusual for two little jars of honey that normally come out around 8% on the hydrometer. I know we added the yeast stuff in, but that still doesn't explain that. And it's not, it's not warm, it is normal pitching temperature. So I have no idea why it's saying it's so high. We will find out when we get to the bottling thing. I mean, if this is 11%, it's definitely gonna test out that yeast, the homemade yeast nutrient and conditioner. I guess we'll find out. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe buy some honey, it's cheap. And it seems to be really, really sugary. Uh, don't forget to check out some of the other ones, subscribe, you know, do all those things that other people tell you to do, but more importantly, Carry on homebrewing. See you later.